camera. Oh, shit. That was gone. GoPro down. I might have one. That's pretty nice on it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. Today, me and Chris are back together. I know y'all probably haven't noticed that we were apart, but we've probably been, I haven't fished with you in, what, five, six weeks? How long that since we did one challenge? It's been a while, so we're back at the pond today, and we have a monster at the pond. Like, I mean a real life monster. Not a bass, unfortunately. Pretty sure we have a snapping turtle the size of a small planet. Chris actually sent me a text and said something to the effect of, if you didn't know better, it was an alligator. alligator. I don't think it's an alligator. I think it's a giant snapping turtle because I've seen a giant snapping turtle in here. I've only seen him like twice. We know about where he hangs out. And I'm telling you, when I first came up on him, I thought, man, I didn't realize we had a tree stump in the water right there. And then it moved and I realized what it was. I mean, it is huge. So we're going to set some traps today. We may do a little bit of fishing too, but we're gonna set some traps and uh, see if we can't catch this thing overnight. What we're gonna be using for those traps, some little, basically jugs. We've got some jugs and some little jug lines like fish noodles. Um, we're gonna put some braid on and some treble hooks. And uh, what are we using for bait? Cut up, chicken. Cut up chicken. I was gonna catch bluegills and Chris said, oh, you're gonna catch the bait. Okay, good, I'll go grab chicken because he has no confidence that I'll catch any bluegill. And he's probably right. So that's the name of the game today. We're gonna go rig this stuff up. We're also gonna set our traditional trap and I think we're gonna put out a little bit, a few limb lines. So we're gonna have about 10 things of bait in the water. And uh, just in case we run into him without being on a trap, we're gonna we're gonna lay the sucker down is what we're gonna try to do. Cause a turtle that size is probably what killed the big the big fish we found a few months back. Um, and uh, definitely eats a lot. And we want the food to go to bass, not turtles. What is that? Crawfish? Yeah, sell some of the freezer. Oh, well, there you go. We're gonna put some crawfish in the trap. Uh, we'll be back in just a second. Here we go. <laughs> So this is our traditional turtle trap that Chris acquired earlier this year, actually. And uh, it's been pretty good. It caught that one really giant snapping turtle. We got a big old snapping turtle. He does not like me. <coughs> not giant like we're looking for today, but one pretty big snapping turtle. And uh, I don't think this one's gonna fit in it, but we should be able to get some sort of turtle out of here with that thing for sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, got my set of four floats. Chris has got three floats, some limb lines. He's got the chicken. I'm breaking stuff on my boat. We do have a couple rods because what's the point of coming to the pond if you're not going to catch fish? So Y'all will hopefully get some fish catches today. Um, yeah. Right here. Yeah, that's true. Or you want to drop them, or you want me to drop them? So I would hook the hook. Holy crap. I brought the wrong chicken chicken. I brought the chicken I didn't cut. Is <laughs> that <laughs> the chicken I cut? That was smart. Oh, well, good thing I brought a knife. Are you saying it's at home? Oh yeah, it's in the refrigerator. I got three other thighs though right here that I can cut, but... The, the, the time I took to cut the 10 pieces off the bone and all that good stuff is uh, in the refrigerator downstairs. I put it downstairs so I wouldn't forget it when I grabbed the crawfish out of the freezer and apparently I grabbed this from upstairs. And I'm the one with, with the yeah. I didn't forget it. I just brought a different one. Oh, shit. That was gone. <laughs> oh, no. GoPro down. All right, by the stake. Did it have a, uh, nope. it was completely open? Yep. Yeah, that one's gone. <laughs> Even if we recovered it, it's gone. I still need to recover it. Here, pull me to you. Sorry, camera. 
Oh, shit. Well, that was gone. <laughs> oh, no. GoPro down. All right, boss. Let's uh, drop them like a GoPro. At least it's on camera. It is on camera. GoPro. I see the I see the thumbnail now. GoPro lost forever. Feels like a pretty good one. Oh, that's yeah, a pretty good one. Jig. He's a pretty decent size. Pretty big one. What tag are you? Watch out. You gotta add the bread. You want the scale or you just want the bread? I see 1030. Uh, I got a scale too. 1032. Let's see how much you, how long he is. 16 and a half. Two pounds, three ounces. They look healthy. I mean, he's real thick on the back. Real, real thick. All right. Let's let him go. Let's let him go. Get him bigger. I got that one on a wicked jig. All righty, folks. Next morning, we're back out here. We are going to check the turtle traps. And, uh, because I feel like we probably don't have this turtle. But, uh, let's go get on the water and see if we can't find it. All right, ladies and germs, at the pond, I'm going to put out some new turtle traps that we learned how to do, stake, rope. So I made my sets earlier. You can see them right here. Three out stainless steel hooks, 10 foot of cord, notched my stakes. You can see the notches on the stakes. So I'm going to put out five sets today. One trap. Whatever I got out here, I'm going to fill it for some bait. So let's get going. Snap back. Come on, go. Let's go to the next spot. Just doing a bunch of half hitches to a knot. <clears throat> Do four of them. They pull that off, then. Oh well. That turned out pretty good. I like that. Alright, so I'm back at the pond. I'm gonna go check some of the lines I put out on poles, stakes that we saw in a video. See if we got any turtles. So here's the first pole set. Line looks slack, so I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Nope, no weight. So I'm gonna leave the stake. Well, the line's definitely been moved. It does look like there's nothing on it still. Something moved this bait. I don't know what it was because it's not on there. Well, definitely this line has moved too because it was out there and now it's way over here. So let's see. If I any luck with this one? And no. I might have one. I think I got one. All right. I do have a turtle. I got one. I see her down there. Looks like a pretty decent sized one. All right. 
guess I should have brought some pliers. That's pretty nice on. If I can get it out. It's a nice snapper. Holding on for dear life. What he's holding on to? He's getting there. There we go. All right, buddy. Let's get him on his bed. Get a good clean shot on him. Alright, turtle. Right. Let's go check out the other one. Well, at least we were successful with one trap. So we know this style track work, trap works, pole lines work. But I'm getting the action on it. Just not catching anything. What do you think this turtle weighs? Uh, that's a good 20 pounds. All right, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So out of the five pole lines got one 20 pound snapper saw another one right there one had a turtle on it because you could tell where the line had been afraid a little bit steel trap didn't catch anything the cage trap still got the bait in it so hopefully the next time we come out here there'll be something in it gonna try some different bait something with a little bit more uh meat or a bone in it maybe we can get in there that way we can't pull it off that way that turtle once it gets hold of it he'll have to take commit to it so we'll try it again next time peace thanks for watching